Next up, according to Stanford University's Center on Food Security and the Environment, 820 million people around the world don't have enough to eat. That food insecurity can cause instability and exacerbate many of today's national security challenges. The University of Nebraska's Institute of Agriculture and Natural Resources recently hosted a member of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security to learn how Nebraska farmers can play a role in keeping the nation secure. The past year has taught us a lot about ourselves, the world, and agriculture. Even if the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic have been minimal to you personally, you've likely seen firsthand how detrimental bottlenecks in the food supply chain can be. We all remember the headlines from last spring, meat plants suspending operations temporarily due to coronavirus outbreaks in their workforce. This was, of course, as many of us were under stay-at-home orders and the demand for meat was increasing. Fortunately, the United States has a highly developed agricultural sector and can navigate these types of challenges. But that isn't always the case in other countries. As a result, an interruption in that food supply, whether due to a pandemic, a war, a natural disaster, or an intentional agro-terrorism act, can cause instability. That can have ripple effects to the United States or our allies and be a threat to national security. Last month, the University of Nebraska's Institute of Agriculture and Natural Resources and the National Strategic Research Institute welcomed David Richardson, Assistant Secretary for the Department of Homeland Security's Countering Weapons of Mass Destruction Office. It was an opportunity to understand how national security and the food supply intersect. For example, in Romania and Vietnam right now, uh, their African swine flu is in the swine population or the hog population or the pig population, whatever you refer to it as. Um, and it is devastating uh, their hog industry. We don't want that here. We have scientists um, working on that now to stop African swine flu from coming here. We're just talking about hogs. We're not talking about, we didn't mention chickens. We didn't mention cow. We didn't talk about uh, corn or any of that. So. In every one of these sectors, uh, there's a risk of some type of damage to, uh, to America and to our way of life. Richardson is the highest ranking official in the Department of Homeland Security to visit IANR. He spent part of his visit touring facilities and learning how IANR research programs can lead to a more resilient and accessible U.S. food system. And the neat thing about Nebraska, as you well know, is we have seven different agroecology zone. So Lincoln looks a lot different than North Platte. North Platte looks a lot different than Harrison or Scotts Bluff or O'Neill or Fall City. So we take advantage of the diversity of our soils, our water, our precip, our temperatures, our wind patterns, and we can actually use Nebraska as a test bed, a proving ground for the innovation that moved from ideas and discovery to practice with a wealth of agricultural research, Nebraska is uniquely positioned to help combat a potential security threat. And through a statewide network of partnerships with scientists and producers, the goal of making the country safer can come closer to being realized. I think when we think about agro-security, biosecurity, does somebody have the intent to do harm using a disease-causing organism? And truth be told, Today's conversation is about how do you bring the basic science and the teaching and the learning together as we think about the threat of a biological incident. And it's a perfect marriage as far as I'm concerned. Information is power. So the more information you have on whatever the, pen, the, the, the zoonotic uh, diseases or diseases that get into a uh, food population or, a crop popular or, or crops, and most of it's information and, and taking action on it. So uh, deter, detect, you know, protect, that's a matter of having the information. So the more information you get, uh, the more you can do about uh, any uh, these type of diseases.